You've heard about it. Maybe you've seen it happen. America, Reader Braver tells us, is in the throes of an epidemic of shoplifting. What are some examples of things that people have shoplifted from this store? It's luxury handbags, perfume and sunglasses, and also luxury clothing items. Krista Johnson says that over the 13 years she's co-owned Ella Rue, a high-end consignment shop in Washington, D.C., shoplifters have stolen hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of goods. She now keeps her door locked, letting in only one or two shoppers at a time. Still, last November, these girls stole over $10,000 in handbags, I know. and I chased them into the alleyway, and they dropped the items, and they fled in a getaway car. It's happening everywhere. We've all seen video of dramatic smash and grabs and had to deal with merchandise locked in cabinets to block thieves. There are 224 devices in here. In this whole room, in this whole, wow. Just in this lab alone. Reed Hayes and his team at the Loss Prevention Research Council at the University of Florida are developing even more ways to outsmart shoplifters, helping businesses develop products like this power drill implanted with a chip that must be activated at checkout. This will not function unless you purchase it. Or this locked case that lets you enter your cell phone number. You'll get a quick text that'll give you a unique code. You enter the code and it will open for you. That is crazy. Right. <laughs> but, but most thieves do not want to share their, their cell phone. Cell number. Right. Yes, that's right. I can just pop it off. The team actually interviews admitted shoplifters to see what works. What we'll mess with this one? Why not this one? Because those are hard to come off. And Reed Hayes says his best estimate is that 20 to $30 billion worth of merchandise is shoplifted from U.S. retailers each year. It's probably like measuring the wind right now because most retailers don't apprehend or detain people that are stealing from them. It can be very dangerous to the employees, of course, and it can be dangerous to customers. Right now, we're in a home improvement store. But this virtual reality setup shows that just a few simple additions can deter shoplifters. As you can see, an area of high loss items, gloves. A monitor. Uh, right, that's right, a monitor in there. And then to further draw attention, we can add in some signage in here. Some shoplifters work alone, while others, like the ones who swarmed into this shop in East Hampton, New York, belong to gangs. It's known as ORC, Organized Retail Crime. It goes from like a very local level to, and you know, the international level where you have organized retail crime rings that are stealing large quantities of product. And while some of the stolen product is fenced locally, research scientist Corey Lowe says other items actually end up online. In some cases, you'll actually see that they leave the EAS tags or the security tags on the stuff that they're taking pictures of. And that's a really good sign that it's stolen. As the thieves get more sophisticated, so do the retailers, especially trying to foil smash and grab gangs. So if a vehicle comes in here and they commit a crime, um, we now have information about their vehicle, make, model, color, damage, customization, their tag number and state. If something suspicious looks like it's going on, Will these machines alert personnel in the stores? They will. And while retailers say customers should not intervene, this Walmart shopper was clearly fed up. You just jacked up the price for everybody else because of your 